Welcome back everyone. We're in the Giants Editor today. I'm Jewel and as you can see we're on the rich map that I made. It's a mod map. It's, this is Elm Creek and I'm going to show you how to use the replace tool and I'm not talking about the replace underneath the uh, brush type here. This one. I'm not talking about replacing the ground to a certain level. So anyway we're going to go ahead and get started and I'm going to show you how to use the replace function in this to place trees to take a tree that you want to make more than one tree or just one tree and replace it uh, you can make all these trees be one type of tree or what have you so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it I'm going to do it on a smaller scale I'm not going to do every single tree on the map but I may do it by the end of it to show you, but we'll see. But anyway, hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I appreciate all the new subscribers and everyone that has joined the channel. The channel is growing quickly, and I thank you. And we're going to go ahead and get started. What I would do if I were you in this case, we'll go ahead and make a, a new transform group. And it's already highlighted, so we're going to roll up to this attributes name box here. We're going to title this one trees number one. We'll just say number one. We're keeping it separate from the main game tree uh, transform group. And once that changes, we've got that. Now we're going to roll up to say this, this tree, American Elm Stage 3. We're going to click on it. There's, there's several ways you can do this. You can either click on it and click edit cut and then come down click on trees one edit and paste or if you want to do it differently we'll open up another one we're going to click create transform group we're going to name this one trees two trees two we do need a different tree for this one so we're going to do it like that and we'll go find another tree let me find something different okay a birch tree all right so in this case, if you want to do it, sometimes it can be a pain, but if you like it and you want to use a different way of cutting it, you can click on it, like highlight it, and then click on it with your middle scroll wheel and click it down and then drag it down while you're holding it down and get all the way, let it just keep going. Just hold that there, it'll go down. While you're holding the middle mouse scroll wheel down, and then drag it over the file or transform group you want to let it off in and then let go and it'll put it in there but sometimes that messes up and throws it in a different file because you can't hold it down very good sometimes so I don't like using it that way but I'm just showing you so you know another way to cut it and paste it uh, there's other ways as well you can uh, if you look at your edit uh, let me look it says control X and then control V so you could do that as well but you would still have to click on here or like say that you'd have to click on this control X and then come down here click on the trees control V and it would paste it in there so but there's a couple ways you can do it now what we're gonna do we're gonna duplicate this American Elm um, tree but first we're gonna highlight it and then we're gonna click control B and place it here so that we can see it all right. I actually put it down a little low, but I think I shrunk it. Oh, it's fine. Okay. So now we're going to duplicate it. Control D, click it once and slide it over. Okay? Control D again, slide it over. Control D, slide it over. Control D, slide it over. I'm just trying to get enough trees. Control D slide it so now we got enough trees to make sense okay so now these are the trees we're going to worry with not the rest of the trees at least not yet okay so now we actually will be uh when we click it to replace all it's going to do all of that kind of tree it's supposed to all right so now we're going to click on the birch tree control b place it here it's a little bitty one so let's get down there where we can see it a little tiny thing so this will be make sense when it changes from this to the 
this uh, changes these to this okay so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on edit click replace and you have this little dialog box that comes up and in this case the target tree is gonna be these American elm trees so I'm gonna select one of them I'm gonna click in this target box and click load and it's gonna put it in there then we're gonna click roll in this will be fine it'll stay there click on the birch tree click on the replace with and click load now we're gonna click keep the user attributes we can keep the physics attributes um, you can clip you can keep the clip distances all that's doing is sh showing you the visibility of the tree uh, like however close you get to it you finally see the tree or whatever and keep that um, you could keep the names because what it's going to do is, is this is a birch tree and if you make these a birch tree that's what you want to call them you wouldn't want them to say um, elm American elm so I think that it'll work if not we'll see it we'll see it change over here so basically these over here are going to turn into birch trees except for one first we're going to just do one it'll be the top one then once we do all of them it'll be all these and all the other ones that are American elm stage three it won't just be these here if I do replace all it's going to be every single one on the map okay and the keep lock groups uh, you you can do that uh, I hadn't noticed any issue with it but if you if you're worried about it you can undo it or you can try it both ways whatever way you want to try so anyway this is good if you wanted to replace trees on a map say you like this map but you want all pine trees to be like a logging map or whatever you, or you get a new tree from another map that you like and you you're, you're just like I don't want to put them all down but I want to put them where all these other trees are this is what this is for so now that we have these two things in these boxes we can hit replace and it's only going to replace one the one that the first one this one is going to go here it's going to be so this will stay the same and whichever one of these this this right here will become that so we hit replace and now you see that tree is a birch tree now without you having to do anything I mean anything extra so now we want to replace all once we click that it's going to take care of all of them and all the ones on the map so I clicked all and as you can see see all of them disappeared look there, there's these are all birch trees and over here there was some there's a birch tree obviously right there and there's there's one right there and they're all over the I ain't gonna run over the whole map because I wouldn't know where all of them are supposed to be but basically get the point that's where they are wherever there was a tree like that that's there's a birch tree see that was a number three so there's a birch tree so I hope you understand that part now if you say oh well I want to do all the number twos we'll roll up to it see if I can find it America well we could do number one that's number three stage three let's do number one click on just click and highlight that right there in the target area and click load now we're going to all these that you see in the scene graph are going to turn into a birch tree so we're going to hit replace boom okay so it don't look like they changed or maybe it did let me go down and see I don't know if it did let me look it doesn't look like it changed let me click undo because it looked like something happened there yeah see them I'm gonna go down closer alright yep it changed them it just didn't show them here so I guess if we take away the name thing yeah it kept those names I set it backwards yep don't don't you don't want to keep the names because then it's going to say this is an American Elm and it's not. So I'm going to click undo. And then I'm going to hit it again without the keep names. And then it's going to change those um, to Birch 1. See? Let me undo it so you can see what happened. It was American Elm Stage 1. I clicked to replace all. And it changed them to Birch. So when you want it to change the to change the name 
uh, you need to not put keep names because you want it to be a birch tree because it's a birch tree this is the birch tree so there would really be no reason you would want to keep the name but if you're for whatever reason if you want it to be called the birch tree to be called an American elm stage whatever whichever one you were on and in the first case we were on three then they turned them into uh, wherever they were I can't find them here they are these turned into an American elm see and that's actually a birch tree so you don't want it to say keep names I had it backwards when I said it so I would say uncheck that one um, it depends on what you want to keep names um, I guess there's some instances where you would but anyway I'm gonna show you something else besides this so you can do other things besides the trees I'm trying to decide I guess I'll show you the sign say you take this sign here you click it in the target box hit load and then you find another sign where's it here let's see that's the same sign we don't want that one I thought there was one nearby here let me look uh, I don't see one here let me try to find one real quick you can replace the sign where are we at? I think there was one. Here it is. This one. We'll highlight this on the bottom one and hit replace. So now, see the difference? Billboard 3x2 and th Billboard 2x3. They're different. This one's a colorful sign. The other one was something else. We'll go down there to the other one so you'll see that it's going to be. Where is it at? I lost it. I think it was right around here somewhere. Oh well. Well, anyway, the the bottom one. Let me see if I can find it. Cause you can change the signs. Where in the world is that sign? There it is, right there. Okay, we clicked on that one. That's this top one. See, three by two. Then the other one was that colorful one, right? We're going to look at this, and we're going to replace this one with the colorful one. And we're going to click Replace All. And there you go. So if you had that different sign, and you wanted it in all those spots where that sign was, it would be there. So if there are more than one sign on this map that, that had that one we just had, let me back it up, that had that, which there was supposed to be somewhere on here, another one, um... I'm not sure where it's at, but basically, I'll show you. Let me do something and show you. Control B. I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to go to another one. Control B. Bring it over. Okay, that was the one we changed. Okay. So, we don't want that one. We want a three. There we go. We want the two one. Three, two, one. Okay, now, we're going to do it again. Um, we're going to target these. Well, I accidentally moved that one. Let me click, click undo. Move this back. Control B. Let go. Alright, so now we're going to make sure this one is this tree. Click load. And that this bottom one is the replace with. So we're going to replace all of these with this sign. And we're going to hit replace all. And there you go. So you get the point whatever one you're replacing with you put on the bottom you want this one so you put it on the bottom if you want to place all these you put it on the top so once you want to place it goes on top the ones you want to replace with it goes on the bottom you can do it with other stuff as well um, just real quick I ain't gonna get too deep I tried doing it with some fencing but for some reason it wants to flip the fence when you do it so I'm not sure why it rotates it it did work on one of them and replaced it pretty good but some of them doesn't but let me show you something um, let me do it with this since this this is already here we're gonna click on one of these we're gonna put it as the target since there's a bunch of them and then we're gonna pick this mailbox as the bottom thing and hit load and now we're gonna replace all and they're all gonna become mailboxes boom as you can see so it's it's pretty neat 
to use if you have something you need to replace a lot of. Like if you have a sign, like this sign here. Say you have a new sign and you you have a, a 45 mile an hour sign. And you want to replace it. You would just highlight it on the top one. Load the 35. And then find your other sign. Let's pretend that this sign here says 45 or, or whatever. Say we wanted this, this sign to replace all those. We would highlight it highlight this hit load and then hit replace all now we're going to go back over to that sign and then you can see it turned it into that so it's a great way to, to quickly change a lot of things and so i just wanted to show y'all this uh because i feel like it could help a lot of people with some a lot of work that they need to do and they're and they're like oh wow this would save me so much time but you can do it with power poles light poles whatever you get um you know so and you can do it with bushes that only the ones that are like that though you can change them hedges you can change pretty much whatever you choose i mean you can do buildings even i even did a house uh let me do this and i'll show you see this trailer we're gonna make this house come to this spot we're gonna pick the trailer as the target load it click on this as the uh, replace with load it replace we're just going to hit replace for the one time because we're just doing one replace and now that house is there now obviously it's still there but that ain't the point you you're trying to you're you're keeping the main one that you're replacing uh with you're keeping it and then you're doing that so but that's how you do it and i uh, hope it helps somebody uh i just wanted to show you it's a pretty neat little deal i like it uh, sometimes when you do certain ones it, it somehow makes the tree shorter uh, I tried it with some pine trees I don't think I can find them right now but it made it short I'm not sure why it basically made this tree go in the ground but like when I replaced the pine tree so You'll have to decide, uh, test one out, and if it's not shrinking it down on you, then do it. You know, pick that one. I don't even see a pine tree in, in this list. I was going to try to. I was going to try to show you, but you can see it changed all of them into birch trees. It was all those was the other one. Where in the world is the pine tree? I don't see it. But anyway, you get the point. Uh basically it was some it was a whole group of pine trees that were tall and say they were much taller than this. They were like that tall and I replaced it with this and these stuck in the ground lower. But I don't know why and I had it the same way, so you'll have to do a little trial and error with some of it, but anyway, that's how you do it and make sure you hit save when you're finished and if you don't like it hit undo i'm not going to save it because i don't want to change all that but i just wanted to show you how to use the replace tool and it's different than this other replace tool this this replace tool is making the ground come up to a perfectly uh same level as you choose after you hit Control r it, it basically changes it so but anyway I, I hope you enjoy i'm gonna catch you on the next one please hit the like button subscribe Turn on your notification bell if you want to receive a notification every time I post a video. I still don't have internet, but I will be back with internet as soon as possible. And I'm posting with a hotspot, so that's why I haven't posted any simulator games. So please stay tuned. Thanks, everybody. Catch you on the next one. Goodbye, everybody.